I am going to remove this fuel line. I have to replace it because it's just it's dry rotted. It just breaks when I take it apart. You know when I just bend it. So I got a here's a clamp right here. Got to undo the clamp. Hopefully it'll slide off. I might have to cut it off. I don't know. Then I have another hose that I'm going to put into a tank so that I can pump this out. Let's see. Unscrew this. Slide will slide down. All right. Let me go to it close to the very end of that. All right. There we go. All right. Take that clamp. Come on. All right. Let's see. This should be approximately the same size. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Now I do have a pump. I might just hook a pump up to this. And just pull that old fuel out of there. There is an arrow on this lever. And there is the word on. And there's the word R-E-S. So when I flip this like that, it'll point to on and should... Uh, be able to drain the tank drain the tank down to uh, that level to right before reserve and then I rotate this clockwise all the way so that this arrow is pointing at the letters RES it'll open up the reserve and be able to pull from all the way down to the bottom of the tank something like that Now I've got everything set up to drain this tank. The pump I had uh, is not going to work. It, it, eh, I had to throw it away. Let's put it that way. So I've got the hose going into this little tank right here. What I'm going to do is see what happens. Right. All right. I don't see much of anything happening there. What happened? What happens if I go to reserve? All right, I had to get it push started. I think it's still flowing. Oh yeah, look at that. I think you can see that. Very smelly. I think it's starting to run out. So we got fuel flowing. Showing just a little below half a tank on the gauge up top there. Hello everyone. The fuel tank was in bad shape. Interior wise, very rusty. Flakes of, you know, just a bunch of garbage sat too long. So I tried cleaning it in place, but it, it's just too far gone. I want to take it out of there to clean it properly. So what is required, remove the battery. Remove the battery. Um, there's a bracket here. Both shock absorbers. Rear fender. Uh, complete both pieces the wheel as well as the rear master cylinder see this is actually even part of the tank and this cross member so it and here's a bolt for it big job but fun To remove the fuel tank, one of the things has to be removed is the battery and the battery bracket. So, step one is when removing a battery, always do the negative first. Because it doesn't matter if your wrench touches any metal well, and the battery post, because it's all linked to common. Let's put that down in there. Okay, there's my negative. Here's my positive. 
rusty it doesn't matter if I touch any metal because it's not it won't complete the circuit back to the other post get that out of the way okay now let's put that out there is a rubber boot that's in okay battery is out let's try to remove this bracket now these are 10 mil bolts bolts bolt down to to go two down one to go wow that's in there quite solidly My start relay is connected to it, plus some wires. So in theory, I should just disconnect the wires. There's a plug. See, there's a plug. I disconnect that. But we also have this going down to the starter. So... Okay, see it's moving. Step number one, let's see if I can, yep, I can unplug that. And push that out of the way so we don't see it. Well, so it's out of the way for right now. Okay, I can leave this one, but I need to undo this. This is the one leading. And let me disconnect going down to the wire going down to the starter. Again, this is a 10 mil as well. do is put this washer and nut back on here. Don't want to lose those. See? There we go. Looks like I have to disconnect these. Those out of the way. Let's get these out of the way. It looks like I can take this section of the rear um, fender off. Looks like these bolts are just right in there. Something's wanting all of this. I know. There we go. Got to clean that up, obviously. So here we are without the part of the rear fender. There's three parts. We've got this part, there's a part here, then another one. So now I've got to get this one out of here. Pull that out. 
and then it'll give me much more room to get this wheel off of here. So here I have my 14 mil half inch drive. I'm going to take this shock absorber off. Start with the lower end. Okay, there's one bolt. Got the nuts off. I have a nut here and bolt here. So I want to move this guy and do that. Get it out of the way. There we go. Now I should be able to slide this off of here. Whoa, whoops. There we go. There's my left rear. Okay, let's repeat what we did on the other side, on this side. First thing is, okay, oh, this side's different, so I've got the nuts and washers there, nut and washers, this one's already loosened because of the rail I take out, take out. slide that off of there. Let's try to wiggle this thing out of here. Whoops. Okay. Look at this thing. Needs to be cleaned. First thing I want to do to take the caliper off is get rid of this hose. Yeah, there may be some fluid in there. I don't know. The um, master cylinder doesn't seem to work properly. Okay, so. Okay. I'll just put that right back in there. Okay. Now that's out of the way. Let's get this bottom one which is a 14 mil. Oop, this one's a 14. Oh, that was kind of loose. This other one's a 12. And the next thing to do is to try to release those pistons. These pistons don't want to move right now. Wow, look at these pads. They're in great shape. Oh, all right, cool. I need to raise it so that this pin or the axle clears the mufflers. cotter pin locking this nut on here even though it's a metric bike I have to use a 15 16th for this Gotta love impact. 
Let's take this guy out of here. Okay, they say I'm supposed to do some inward pressure on here as I'm taking it out. We'll see. Gotta loosen these three bolts. Give this some play. See what happens when I pull the rest of this out of here. Okay. There we go. Clean that up. I believe that's a 14. on like that. <laughs> Here's the wheel. I have the wheel off. I have the caliper, the two shocks, the axle, the brake holder to um, well three this is actually two parts three fenders now I've got to now I have to do that master brake cylinder there undo this little cross member I might be ready to pull that out of there. Next step is to take this cross member off. Put these right back in place. I believe I have to undo this one as well. Let's remove this side engine bracket. This one's a 12 mil. Okay. And this one. This other one's a 14 mil. That one goes all the way through. Okay, we'll see on those. Well, I guess I need to clean all this. Not right, for right now. Okay. I should be able to get this battery box out of here. Next, it says to get rid of this clip and clevis pin. This pin should come out. Might need a little persuasion. There you go. Okay, that's undone. Next, I need to loosen these two bolts here for the master cylinder, the rear master cylinder. One bolt. 
to bolt. Need to take this fuel valve off of here. So I wonder what happens. Guess that answers that question. Uh huh, okay. I guess I'll clean that up. Alright, these are rivets. I'm not going to drill those out. In theory, I could open this up. Hmm. I may. Hey, the right tool for the job. That was a pain. Fuel tank is out. There's the fuel tank. Now, here is the bike without. To cleaning now, though. Now the thing that's out of the way. Thank you. 